Hey, hey, hey. Hello, everyone. In the moments when everything stopped, a voice spoke up within me. A voice that needed to be heard so desperately it felt like my lungs would explode, felt like I was drowning by my own hand. I pushed that voice down, time after time after time, afraid that if I listened, I would turn out to be irredeemably wrong, inherently bad, filthy. My cells are ashes. The flame inside of me was smothered the second I was born into that tiny mountain hospital. I never got a chance to take my first breath and scream before this world decided that I don't have a right to breathe. I'm wearing a mask, built out of all the things I've tried to become. It's paper mache, layer on top of layer of everything I've told myself. Somewhere underneath all this shit is a tiny flame. Every time it flares, I put it out. It's fighting to breathe, fighting to get out. If you love me, let me go. And when I finally spoke those words, I never heard them said out loud. Felt a weight just slip away. It felt like coming up for air for the first time in 16 years. I can breathe. I can breathe. I'm sewn together by the threads of hate and fear and the belief that if I live as who I am, no one will love me. Everyone will leave and say that they have never known me, that I betrayed them by trying to be the perfect girl all these years. If I rip these stitches out, I will fall apart. This person is not me. It's a robot made of all the things I think I should be. I only want to pull off this mask and instead I leave cuts on my body and have to hide all the pills. If you love me, let me be. I put my hands on my body, trying to pull my soul back into it. I feel like a stranger. I have never once been home. And in this ancient system of alliances, where silence is the same as compliance, crossing the lines inside of our minds is a defiance. And when I finally spoke those words, I never heard them said out loud. Felt a weight just slip away. Coming up for air, it felt like being saved. It felt like finally lying down after a long, long day. I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. In the moments when everything stopped, a voice spoke up within me. Thank you. I'd like to invite Leslie, Mills, and AC up to the stage with me. ring out as they always do you read about it in the newspaper you shake your head inside and you move on with your day we are taking 
to the police station where we are misgendered and dead named. We are invisible every single day. How much pain is it gonna take until you see us for who we are? This is who we are, and we are here. When another basic human right is taken away, as it always is. You post about it on social media, you talk about it for a day. And you move on with your life And you tell me of course you're fine with me being trans Just as long as I don't stand up for myself Just as long as I'm not actually trans As long as I stay quiet How much pain is it gonna take Until you fight for us Like we're your fellow human beings This is who we are, and we are here. And we will not be erased. We will not be erased. We will burn this system down and build a new one from the ashes. We will not be erased. 